Howdy guys, Rex here. Today we're gonna to talk about how to protect yourself physically, okay? Now we talk a lot about the deeper meanings of life on Rex Reviews, but I think it's also important to not neglect the other obvious needs. You need food, you need water, right? That's huge. You need shelter, you need security. One big element of security is that the security is able to block punches. Now, obviously, the best way to block a punch is not to be there, but if trouble comes and hunts you down, or if someone comes to plunder you, if they chase you down, okay, well, now you have to, you know, be ready to block those punches, even though, you, you know, none of us wants to be in that situation. Sometimes it comes to your doorstep, okay? Now, if that's the case, you're going to have to protect yourself, okay? Now, for ages, dudes have had body armor, of course. Here's something I want you guys to think about. If you don't have some, or if you don't have a piece of armor for every single person you love in your house, you're in dereliction of duty, okay? Every single person in your house, within your gates, needs to have a set, okay? At all times. Plus, I like to keep a few extras laying around in case stuff turns sideways, then I can like, if they forgot theirs, which is usually the case, right? Throw it to them, like, hey dude, here's some armor, cool. It, it helps to be able to have that. It, I mean, just in terms of psychological leverage to like actually get business done to put that stuff on. You know what I mean? So there's a big, big thing there. Um, so there's a lot of different outfits to get it from. I had a hard time getting a hold of even like a bump helmet. Okay. Now there's different levels of body armor. Some of it's ballistic, right? But as you've seen lately, the problem is a lot of children throwing bricks at each other and burning stuff to the ground and, and swinging pipes and, and crowbars and hammers, okay? A lot of that can be mitigated by a simple bump helmet. Now, if you guys wanna go over helmets, I mean, like, I've got a whole variety of different helmets, like the old steel pot, you know, from like Nam and World War II, like they had forever from my when my dad was in. And then, of course, I got the Kevlar deal, right? From, uh, like, I think it was the original, the first Kevlar design, the really, really, obnoxiously heavy one and uh that really reduces your mobility and your ability to see around you and hear especially that's the biggest deal for me is to hear and if you've never worn one like you can put it on for five minutes and be like oh yeah that's good but when you like wear it for weeks or like all the time full-time job right and you're carrying all this other stuff it gets to be kind of heavy so mobility is a thing there are there's a place for everything a really good channel to check out is Viking Preparedness with Pastor Joe Fox. He goes over helmets and he talks about, like in the old days, what they used to do, you know, the different options. And he's one of the one of the YouTube channels and he's got a Patreon. You guys, if you're on Patreon, I need to get on Patreon. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I need to get, get on Patreon. But he's one of the guys in the gun community that actually, or the preparedness community, that actually really has experience. And he, he doesn't flaunt it so people don't get it sometimes, but he has real world experience a lot. So if you wanna to listen to somebody on YouTube, I would just defer all expertise on helmets to him, okay? Because he does a really good video on it. Check it out. His uh, YouTube is Viking Preparedness. With that being said, I ordered a bump helmet because I used to have like a roller skating helmet. Yes. Rex used to roller skate when I had my long, glorious hair, my beautiful locks, and I would skate around the track and I would play roller derby and I was a roller derby guy. Did you know that? Yeah, I was actually a roller roller derby coach for women's roller derby for a small amount of time. <laughs> hey man, it's all right. What are you gonna do? We all gotta see what's going on in the world, right? So I had, that is what I basically I converted that over into a roller skating helmet. And so that's kind of my designated roller skating helmet now. But normally the nice thing about it is if you crash your bicycle, if a kid throws a brick at you or a frozen water bottle or whatever, um, it'll save your life, okay? Or if you're trying to mount like a, you know, when the 14's on, like a, a monocular, night vision monocular, super, super good way to roll. So I ordered one like, I don't remember, a long time ago, months and months and months and months ago. And they said, hey, it's gonna be a little bit of wait time. It like never came in. So I was like, okay, 
Well, shoot, I'm going to look elsewhere. I'm not because I like to have uh, extras of everything, right? Keep them kind of in different locations in case I lose one, etc. Right? Pace planning, right? Primary, alternate, contingency, emergency, all that kind of fun stuff, right? So, I actually went to RTS Tactical, and they always seem to have stuff I'm looking for in stock. And they actually had what I'm looking for. So let's see what this is here. This is the Fast Bump Helmet by Ops Corps. Recommended to me by many guys that I respect. Oh, great. Here comes a train. You hear the train coming? That's nice. So this is from RTS Tactical. By the way, they take good care of me. So if you guys ever want to support the channel, use the link below for RTS Tactical. But here's, all right, I, I have not, this is the box. I just took it out now, okay? I cut the tape before I turn on the video. So I have not seen this yet. I don't even remember what color I ordered, but here we are, right here. See, let me turn on a little extra light. It's been raining all day, okay? So, all right, let's come with a, a fancy cover. Oh, oh my gosh. I even got the cool guy color. So I can be a ninja. So it has a nice case that it comes with. Okay. It has the destructions here. I'm going to save those. Okay. So there's the instructions. Like, I mean, I, I looked all over the interwebs for all this stuff that I'm looking for. And I couldn't find it. Extra pads. Okay. And then it comes padded on the inside. Here's what the inside looks like. This is the Ops Core Fast Helmet. Okay. We got the Velcro back here. Okay. So you can mark who you are, put your little reflectors on there, whatever you're doing. You got your Velcro here and here. It's got a rough texture to it a little bit, which will give it that kind of more shine. That's one of the S's of camouflage. You want to make sure you have. You have attachments on the side for all kinds of extra tackle. The little blinking red lights, the propellers like the kids had on their hats in the old days. All that stuff that makes you extra tactical. Okay, But mainly, I needed something for my, my night vision monocular. Because um, they make a lot of different stuff, but uh, this one kind of has it molded in. And so a lot of different buddies said, just get one of these. And actually, the one I ordered from the other place, I think it's still on the way, or it just arrived like a week after this one did. But when I ordered this from RTS Tactical, it came like within a couple days, which I appreciate because when I order something, I like it to be there, you know, if it's possible, on time. And I've got a big noggin, so let's see. I forget how this one works. I'll probably put it on backwards for you, right? This is my very first time playing with it. What do we got here? Look at all this stuff. I'm going to have to have someone train me on how to use this. So you can buy all the coolest stuff in the world, but if you don't know what the hell's going on with it, you might need help. So I'm going to call like some guys who were maybe in at a time when they used this kind of a helmet, okay? Because I've never seen nothing like this, and I never really ran one of these before, besides like a roller skating helmet or like the big full Kevlar. So I got a big head, and I think they got the right size. Let's try it on. Well, it's a little bit tight, but I think it'll work. Oh, look at that. Oh, would you look at that? Do I look scary, huh? And then I can hear around me. I got no change in my visual or hearing perception. I could still talk. I could still eat a sandwich if I wanted to. So it's very nice to have that. And then I can put my monocular up here. I might adjust some of these pads on here. I've got uh, some overpressure damage to my face and head. So some of the nerve bundles on like the sides of my heads are a little bit sensitive, particularly in the back of the head here. And so I might have to like adjust some of this to be a little bit. But then again, having a nice snug fit when you're running around is good. And it does it weighs like nothing. It weighs like a baseball cap. And does it have holes on top? It does have holes on top, doesn't it? Something, this is what, uh, if you look uh, uh, up the video from Viking Preparedness, um, he knows his stuff pretty well. And back in the day, what they would used to do is they would duct tape those holes. Now, these look like they're different. But if you get brass flying everywhere or other things that are really hot, 
like little pieces of hot shrapnel or steel. If you're in that kind of an environment, you don't need stuff going in those holes, although it does make it breathable. And they might have reconfigured those holes for that purpose because it looks like it'd be hard. Do I have any brass laying in here? Sure, the one day I clean out my car. Normally there's eight million rounds of brass laying here. I could take some loaded cartridges out of my rifle, but well, let's try this. Here's, a, I keep extra mags everywhere. Oh, that's good. Okay, so the pistol brass can't go in there. That's good. I'll have to find that other gold dot. But uh, yeah, it looks like they did different holes on it. Having this molded on here is nice because it's not like attached with rivets or whatever. It's not going to come off if it's molded in, right? And so I'm going to... Actually, we have an adjustment here in the back, kind of like a hard hat. So I'm going to loosen that up a bit, and that might actually make it a bit more comfortable. I used to have to wear hard hats all the time in a certain industry. Oh, yeah, there we go. Duh. It's been a while. Loosen that up a little bit. All right. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm tactical. Right, guys? But no, functionally, this is like really, really helpful, especially if you're trying to drive with your lights off and you have blackout lights and all that stuff, or if you're, you know, even a bicycle or whatever you're doing, or navigating, walking in the dark can be very treacherous on uneven terrain. Don't think that your sidewalk experience is going to transfer to the woods or the mountains or the badlands or any, even the prairie. You're going to trip over stuff and hurt yourself in the dark. Most guys get injuries that are stupid when they're out in the bush doing real stuff. Okay, it's usually not the bad guy that kills them, it's them that hurts themselves. <laughs> okay, so that's a, a, a piece of protection that I think you all should have. So I, I like it so far. I mean, I I confess this is my first one of these exact ones, okay? Um, but it does have all the stuff in with it. In RTS Tactical, like I said before, they take good care of me and I would appreciate it. If, by the way, they have a lot of other body armor. I have quite a bit of their body body armor. They got like the covert stuff, like that's like real low profile, real simple and very affordable. I mean, like you look it up and you're like, oh yeah, I could buy enough for my entire extended family, right? And it stops bullets. Like we've shot at it with five, five, six and big stuff, right? I'm actually gonna do a plate test coming up very soon with the competitor versus RTS's plates because they're doing some big advancements and the anti, they call it what, spalding, right? Where like when you shoot it, there's like a coat because you know, like when a bullet hits steel, it splashes everywhere, right? So you got copper and lead fragments flying everywhere. Well, that won't kill you as much as a bullet, but it still sucks. It can still, if you've ever, I've been hit by like a million bullet fragments, right? Just from stuff hitting near you or whatever and it's it hurts and it's not good if it hits like right under your chin or something that's not gonna be very fun right or it gets in your eyes or whatever right so they create like a real thick plastic rhino lining type stuff okay on there i'm just being colloquial for you guys and the idea is that that'll reduce that and um actually they're coming up with a new material coming up very soon that's supposed to like be completely impervious to that so that'll be cool. And so I, I'm going to do some testing on that. They also got stuff coming up for like kids and babies, which I was wondering about because I'm like, that's interesting. Like, what do you do for like a like a baby in a, in a, in a car carrier, right? You know, like put like a steel like AR500 like box around. I mean, that's not safe either. If you get in a car crash, it flies from, you know, there's other, there's got to be a solution to that, right? They have the backpack, you know, different guys have backpack uh, armor inserts and stuff like that, which is, all that's good ideas. They're all good ideas. Um, but they have, RTS Tactical has some really interesting concepts coming out that I'm excited to see. And they're affordable and they take care of Rex if you use the link. So that's cool. And I got the, uh, I got some of their more full setups. We've tested it before. I can show clips of all that stuff. But I mean, we actually, like, we tested it and there's nothing wrong with it. It's good stuff. It works fine. And for the money and for the cause and for your life, I think it's cool to protect yourself with a little bit of armor.
Alpha Squadron, this is Sergeant T minus X Niner, about to begin physical training. <laughs> Now, we're going to execute a push-up with Military Baron. So follow me, folks, and we'll get down and dirty. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> so this is how you execute the drag. <laughs> well, it works. So we demo that. What's next? <laughs>